Achievement covers any kind of course in any UK university. Achievement scholars have ambition and leadership potentials, a strong academic background, and possessing strong interpersonal skills. Achievement scholars tend to rise to prominent positions. Who should apply for achievement scholarship? In order, so basically, um, what is the eligibility criteria for achievement? In order to submit uh, an eligible application for achievement, you must be a citizen of achievement eligible country. And Ghana is achievement eligible country. So achievement awards to Ghana covers Togo, Benin, and Burkina Faso. And you are also eligible if you have an undergraduate degree and you have not previously received UK government funding to study in the UK. So achievement aims to be fair. So if you have already benefited from it, um, a UK government funded scholarship scheme, you are not eligible to apply for achievement. Agast Nabanfo gives detailed information about the UK government flagship scholarship, the Achievement Awards. So it's fully covered tuition, a living allowance. So you get a monthly stipend that will cover your living allowance, a return trip or return ticket to the UK, additional grants to cover essential expenditure. So some scholars have um, arrival allowance, departure allowance. Watching um, and listening attentively are scores of prospective applicants who so desire to be selected for their master's studies in the United Kingdom on full scholarship. The workshop covers university application processes, meeting the English language proficiency requirement and the scholarship application proper, amongst others. One after the other, speakers explain all relevant issues about the application process to the applicants. Because Chievenen is funded by the Foreign and Commonwealth Office or by the UK government, Chievenen scholars have a certain um, privilege or have a certain edge that other scholarship schemes do not have. So Chievenen um, scholars are usually invited to roundtable policy discussions at the Foreign and Commonwealth Office with key staff, the Burns Night by the Scottish, Wilton Park Diplomacy, retreat sessions, receptions with evening partner organisations. Generally we would ask for two references. The saying is that no lecturer will send a, poor, a bad student to another lecturer. So we'll ask for a minimum of one academic reference from somebody who has taught you, um, who can vouch for you and say this is a good student. For some courses, some universities will also ask you for a second reference. How many of us have heard of the STAR approach, S-T-A-R? Anybody? Anybody? Okay. So STAR stands for situation, task, the action, and the result. That's the trick for your essays. Situation, task, action, and result. I don't sit on the panel, but I can almost guarantee 30%. Seated in the midst of these prospective applicants are current scholars. I'm part of the 22 scholars chosen for Chevening and I'm going to study an MSc in um, Education Policy and International Development at the University of Bristol. Um, I'm very happy to be here and also I'm amazed to see a lot of people here who want to know more about Chevening and apply. I didn't even know anybody, I just heard about it and I came and today I'm standing here. So it means that it is real. You don't need to know anybody. Just do what you have to do and then trust that God will make a way. They also took their turn to share tips, insights, advice, and general experience with the participants. Though children is highly competitive, it is very fair. For me, I work as a teacher in the Volta region, a village where there is no um, road. I have to go to the riverside to fetch water drink some and even use some to bath. In the end, it is about your story, it is about your dreams, it is about how like, determined you are. I'm one of the lucky guys for this year. Uh, it's not been easy, you know. Uh, the, the joy is actually unlimited and I can't. Uh, I, I can't express it. Isaac Hose and lawyer Bakita Koblavi elaborate more on the essay questions, including networking and influencing. You may want to start by telling them how you network. So how do you network? Do you do it virtually? Do you do it physically? Virtually, it's what I actually talked about right now. Um, the social media, the WhatsApp and the Facebook. So 
So you have a lot of network on Facebook, you have a lot of network on social media. And of course, you have actually been to some workshop like this particular one, you're going to meet some people here. So even if you know the president or you know the vice president, how do you use that? How have you used that to benefit somebody? And you would have to come with practical examples in this case. And that is what I got from my success so far. The key word is we are looking for people who are future leaders or influencers in their home countries. And basically, there should be something you have already started or something you hope you know, to start. It is more compelling if you have already started something, but if you haven't, I would say that you shouldn't be discouraged. You should go it, through it. You should find people who would mentor you. That is another secret with this shepherding process. Of course, it is merit-based, but they are also happy to learn that you have made a contact with a, a, a chef, a, maybe a current scholar or an alumni member. Kenneth Jamra and Captain Efua also speak on choosing the UK question. The UK in Ghana has a priority area. If you don't know, you should go and read. These are to transform the Ghanaian economy, that is um, the Ghana Beyond Aid, also to um, support or eradicate poverty by improving the health of people who are marginalized in society and also to improve education, also to ensure that there's accountability and what, transparency. That is the fight against corruption, which has been a bane to the progress of Ghana. And they are also supporting SMEs, like young people who are doing some small businesses and all. So before you choose your course, you should um, read these key priority areas to know whether they fall within the course you want to study. In my application, I said that University of Success is ranked number one in the world in terms of development studies. And the course that I chose is education and development. So I'll get the opportunity to study in a faculty which is ranked best in the world. Also, you can talk about the, when you go to the university site, you will see the faculty list. That is the people who are going to take um, the courses. You read about them and most of them have done key works in your country. But the why the UK question, know your investors first and foremost. And then secondly to know what you are going to do. Because if you are confused about what you want to do, then you won't be able to answer the question why the UK. Um, what you intend to get and what you intend to give back when you come back would all help you answer the question. Because I knew the three universities that I wanted to go to, I was able to research on them. And then it helped me answer the question, why the UK? Of course, there are other general reasons that um, um, my course of study, the one-year master's, and other things. Some of the participants say the workshop has been useful. Today's workshop has been great and educative. I've learned today that um, in choosing a school to attend to outside Ghana, it's not just by... Um, just picking a school and picking a course. You need to understand what you are picking. You need to understand the subject. You need to know what the school is all about so that um, at the end of your study, it wouldn't be like you just go study and come and you're not able to use what you acquired in school. One thing that I picked that I think is very important is research. Almost all those who spoke hammered on that research, research. You just don't choose a school just for choosing sake or uh, because you have to choose a school and then you go ahead and choose any school that you want. You have to research on how the school is going to help you and at, at the end of the day how the particular course that you are going to do in that school is going to help your dreams or your career options. It's gone beyond what I was expecting. I didn't know about this thing uh, this morning as I was work and my wife sent me um, the invitation, something about this program. So quickly, I went to the Facebook page. I liked it and I started reading about it. Went to the website and read, I mean, something about Chivening. And I came and true to what I was expecting, um, I've, I've learned a lot about this whole process. I was happy about um, the experiences those who have um, won the award going um, this year, what they shared with that, especially the essays. I know normally 
it's, it's, it's a major challenge to a lot of applicants when they're applying for schools outside. So um, those are the, my key areas that I really learned a lot from. Chivening is the UK government's global scholarship program that offers future leaders the unique opportunity to study in the UK. These scholarships are awarded to outstanding professionals from across the world to pursue a one-year master's degree in any subject at any UK university. Through Chivening, scholars develop professionally and academically, grow their network, experience UK culture, and build lasting positive relationships with the UK. The 2019-2020 applications end on 6th November 2018 from Accra. This is Gabriel Ni Obodai Togba Ashon reporting for Metro News.